In this video, I'm going to show you how you can break down a schedule created in Excel into individual calendars. Let us select uh, employee one here. Now you can see on his schedule, it's for December 1st, and he has vacation for a few days. And if you scroll across, he has nights for a few days, and he has on and off besides that. What we're going to do is we're going to click the individual button. We have a schedule now. We have a schedule that says employee one, which is his name. And then it shows that they start, it's, uh, December starts on a Friday and it's on and on. And then we have vacation for those days. We have nights for those days. So it's copied right over from the other thing. Basically what I'm working with is a template um, on my sheet that's called month. And in it, I have some formulas based on this date here. Now this date here is related to the schedule date. So that one is always going to be equal to this one. And what we're doing for the first row is we, I have a formula in there. And the first one says, if a weekday, weekday of this date here is, is equal to A3, and I have the weekdays put in here, so this is one and goes all the way to seven. So if the weekday equal equals one, then you're going to put the, the first date in here. Now it's not, so then it goes to the next one and it says if weekday equals equals uh, two, then you're going to put one in here. And there's a second if, if this one is, is a date, which I've got a little function for that, if this one equals a date, then you're going to add one date to it. And so that's how we got it all the way down. And so this is the first day. And so that this is true. So it's put a number one in there. And the second, the second day, it's true. The second part is true. It's a date. And so we're adding one to it. And that is equal to two. Now the third, the second row is basically just adding one to whatever is in this row, because we know that the first one, one of these is going to be filled all the way down. So that's how we do it. Now, let me show you the code that I've written. So my code is called copy to a calendar. Day number is, is long because it's a number. DM, D name is the, the employee's name. Um, R is the R from the schedule. Row number is the uh, row number from the calendar. C is uh, the column from the schedule. Column is or from the calendar. Now, but all of these are long. Now I say worksheet, dim worksheet as worksheet and set worksheet equal to this workbook, worksheet month. So that's what we're copying. And then schedule as a worksheet and schedule equals this workbook schedule. D name equals active cell. So whatever, whatever um, name you've selected, and that's, that's the row that it's going to, that's the name that it's going to use. And R equals the active cell row. So whatever name you've selected, the row that it's on is what we're, it's going to use for R. So with this workbook, we're going to copy a little template month. We're going to put active sheet name equals D name, which is every the employee name. Okay, so now we're making sure that the active sheet, the date um, on the schedule is equal to the date on the beginning of the calendar. And that, that way the dates will adjust on that. And then we're gonna put the active, uh, we're gonna put the employee name on the top of the calendar as well. C, which is a C from the schedule equals two because the names are in, row, in first column. Row number is the, the first column that we're going to put information in on the schedule. Day number equals the schedule cells uh, three, three C. We have the weekdays, um, the weekdays calculated there. In here, I have the formula equals weekday of B, B4, which is the date in here. So the weekday is, is, is calculated here. So that is what we're doing there. So day number equals schedule three C values. 
Well, day number is less than or equal to 7, so if it's not Sunday, for column 1 to 7, the column is from this is from the calendar. Day number equals schedule cells uh, 3C, so that's where we're saying it again. We're going it within this loop. And then we're saying if day number equals active cells, if that the day number equals the right cell, then active cell value row number column number equals the value from the schedule. And if if it actually finds it, then it's adding it next going to the next C, the next column on on the schedule. Okay, when it gets to the end of seven, then what it's going to do? It's going to move the row down too, so we go to the next uh, line of days of the week, and then column equals one, so we go back to Monday. Now, if C equals thirty-two, which is the end of the schedule, then go to the end. I also, I was mentioning with my calendar, I have the function I date, and that is I date equal it. It, which is a VBA function is date and you're going to range. So if I date is true, then it's going to return a true because it's asking for a bolt boolean. I will, of course, include all the code in the description of my video. Please subscribe.